Welcome back to another follow along with me, Miss B. We're now in week seven of quarter four, still exploring pop art. This week's artist is going to be Keith Haring. This is a picture of Keith Haring with some of his artwork behind him. And here are a few samples of Keith Haring's paintings. This week, we're gonna try to recreate this painting right here. So we are gonna need to start with our paper and we do wanna hold it landscape, so laying down, not standing up, and a pencil. So this one will be a little bit trickier. We are doing some figure drawing. Um, they are stick figures. So just do your best with this one. So we are gonna start with the head here and it's just gonna be a little more than a half a circle. We're gonna come down. This is gonna be his arm. The line I'm making here is the inside of his arm. And we're just gonna make a circle for his hand. Again, just follow along as closely as you can. I will stop and start the video at certain times so you guys can catch up with the drawing. So we're going to make a triangle shape. And that's gonna be the shape that forms between the curve of his elbow and his body. So we're not gonna go up and touch the head. We wanna leave a little bit of space and draw a line going down. And then this is gonna be his legs. So these are some diagonal lines. Again, I will stop and start the video so that you guys have time to catch up. So again, right here, working on his legs. And this is gonna be our first person. And he's not complete yet. We wanna start the second person before we complete our first person. Notice how big they are on the paper. They take up most of the page. And for our second person, we're gonna start with the head again. They don't have to be the same size. It's okay if one is bigger than the other. So again, just a little bit more than a half of circle. Straight line out. This is gonna be his shoulder and his arm. We're gonna make this arm almost look like a foot at the end. So it's not gonna be full circle. It's gonna be almost like an oval. Almost how we would make a shoe. Just like that or a boot. I'm gonna to start to make his body. We're gonna make this body a little bit curved. So the other body I made on the first one was very straight. This body's gonna curve. So again, we don't want our people to look the same or our outlines of people to look the same. We make them a little bit different. So they each have their own little personalities and characters. Again, making some diagonal lines for the legs. You notice I didn't go all the way to the bottom. You can make them go all the way to the bottom and I am going to do that a little bit later just to finish it off. 
So this is where it's gonna get a little tricky. We're gonna start to put the arm around the other person. So this took me a couple tries, so it's probably gonna take you a couple tries. And we're just using diagonal lines. And I put a little bend in mine there, so it looks like his elbow. And then we're gonna put a hand on the other side here. So that's going to make it look like his arm is wrapped around the first person. So if it takes me a couple tries, it's going to take you guys a couple tries and that's okay. So you guys should have erasers, so you can erase what you need. This is going to be the arm of our first person that we drew. And it's just going to reach behind the second person's back. And then just to finish these out, like I said, I'm going to draw their legs all the way to the bottom of the page. Just to finish it out. It's okay if they're tall. Two tall people. And we're going to draw a horizon line. So this is going to separate the top from the bottom or the sky from the ground. And if you notice, from Keith's painting. He puts these lines that kind of come out from around their bodies or their heads, kind of like little motion lines. So we're gonna start to create those here. So with our pencil, we're just gonna make some short lines and then a little bit longer of a line. So your lines don't have to be the same length. So you make them all different. And we're just gonna go around the bodies up towards the top and you'll see none of them are the same there's no pattern they just the random lines here so again you guys should have markers and crayons so with my black marker, I'm going to trace all the lines that I've just made with pencil. And it's gonna really make it stand out before we add our color.
So this is where we're gonna start to color our picture in. Now you can use whatever colors you want. You don't have to copy mine, you can. Um, whatever materials you, you want to use, you can. So if you have markers, you can color it in in markers. Crayons, color it in in crayons. If you're at home, you can use paint. Um, I'm going to use oil pastels just because it comes out really dark um, and I liked how bright it made the picture. But you guys are going to use whatever materials you have to finish this project in color. And I want you guys to take your time with this. Um, really think about your color choices.
So again, the materials I'm using for this part are going to be my oil pastels, just so I get a nice, bright, rich color. On the background, I'm going to use color pencil for the top, and I'm going to use marker for the bottom. So you can always mix your materials. Now, something fun you can do, especially my second graders, um, Keith Haring's paintings have lots of lines to them. And a fun thing you can add to your painting or your drawing today um, is to add some extra lines that go around the figure. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. I'm gonna start with this green color. So all around my figures, as an outline, I'm gonna go around them with green. So creating a green outline around my two people. So you'll see I'm adding another color outline. I'm gonna go with light purple. Again, tracing all around my two people. Now you can do this for the entire background, which would take a lot of time. I'm just gonna do a few colors just to add a little bit of dimension and a little bit of color to this drawing. Here I go with my third color. So I've done green, light purple, and blue.
I just did my bottom part of my background or my ground with marker and then to not make a mess, I am gonna switch to color pencil for the uh, top part of the background. And there we have our finished Keith Herring inspired drawing. Don't forget to submit your work on Schoology. Remember to email me with any questions. Click that like button. And have a nice day.